Hey there, how's it going? Just back with another nighttime scuba diving video on Pearl Lake near Detroit Lakes, Minnesota. This was part of our advanced open water dive course uh, taught by Tri-State Diving. Our instructor was Gary Thompson. Just again, amazing instructor. I'll put a link for the uh, previous video from the dive up above here. Hey, see small bluegill? There were hundreds of them. The video just doesn't do it justice. This is my first attempt at nighttime underwater photography. Uh, a lot of things I wish I would have done differently. I didn't have a light for the camera. I just had my dive light, and that really didn't work. What I found was it just illuminates the silt in front of the camera, and it was really hard um, to aim my camera with one hand and the dive light with the other. What I ended up doing was holding them in the same here, there you can see all the silt. Holding them in the same hand, and it just made a lot of noise. Uh, so occasionally you hear some banging, that's what that is. Minnesota, if you go deeper than that, there's not much. Uh, below 25 feet, there's not much to see other than just silt bottom. Uh, so the vegetation, all the fish, typically we'll see them shallower than that. That looks like an old carpet from a pontoon boat. It was much too big to move by us, so we had to leave it there. I, I marked where it was so we can go back and maybe review the building later. This, I think, is the old pontoon boat. I explored in a previous video. I'll put the link above here. It really is just a neat lake to dive in. There's lots of uh, sunken pontoon boats, other boats, sunken docks. And I'm looking for the pontoon boat. That's a bullhead. It's a part of the catfish family. The fish are really docile underwater. They don't really pay you much attention, you're just another fish to them. It's amazing that some of them will even come up right to you. Especially you'll see some of the bigger bluegills later on in the video, they just come right up to us. Some of the fish we saw, largemouth bass, you see the various sunfish species, bluegill, etc. Uh, yellow perch. Bullhead. That's the first bullhead I've seen while diving. A lot of times we see large carp. I didn't see any on this dive. But uh, we also saw a lot of northern pike and we saw walleye. It's amazing, and I don't think the camera does it justice, just how blue those uh, sunfish are. There's a crappie. Makes sense you can come right up to them. They don't uh, they hardly know you're there. If I had to choose, I think I prefer night diving uh, for fresh water than day diving. There's just a lot more species of fish. They 
tend not to be hiding. They're just out in the open. They're easier to see and observe. I also noticed that we used a lot less air uh, diving at night. I think you're moving slow compared to the daytime. Uh, you don't cover as much ground. It's dark, obviously. And so, coincidentally, your, your air consumption is way down. We had 48 minutes of bottom time on this dive, and I didn't even use half the weight of a tank. So this is my first night dive, and I really enjoyed it. Can't wait to go back out. May even go back out next weekend. Kind of got the bug. And that's not me you're seeing. That's uh, one of the other divers we were with. So divers diving in our group, uh, we split up into two groups of four. I was with uh, one of the instructors. Uh, my son was on his right, I was on his left. We had another diver on the far side. And there was another diver, occasionally you'll see his light uh, up above, just keeping tabs on us. It's a relatively controlled environment. Uh, really felt safe and secure. You kind of get a sense of vertigo underwater with all the dust coming through your high your light. It's similar to driving on the highway at night in a in the snow. Uh, with the snows in your in your headlights. Uh, it can be disorienting at times, but uh, it was just really a minor part of the dive. Since you're going slower, it typically isn't a factor. to the blinding light. Yeah, it's much brighter in person than it is on the camera. I need to learn more about uh, underwater photography and get better images. Here's some of the other divers. And some of the divers were using full face masks. I think they were Neptunes. That's something I like to try one one day, but uh, especially if I decide to do ice diving, which is a very real possibility in the next year or two. 
I think the next course we take, we've taken the basic open water and the advanced open water. I think the next course we take is going to be the nitrox course. I touch one of those things. That was a northern pike. They seemed to be the most skittish of the fish that we encountered that night. Uh, we ran into a couple pike, a few decent sized. They were definitely more skittish than the other fish. Bluegill and the crappie didn't really seem to pay much attention to us when we were down there. He saw the bullhead, he came right up to us. Well, that's about it for this part of the dive. I hope you enjoyed watching. Uh, stay tuned for more scuba diving videos. Like I said, we might go out this weekend. We'll make sure we bring the camera. Anyway, thanks for watching.